Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Go G Sports Show, presented by the UNCG Alumni Association, the fall sports finale. Man, that's hard to believe. Hello, everybody. I'm Luke Martin, alongside my partner in crime, Meg Sloggin. And Meg, the fall sports finale, where did the time go? It's hard to believe that this is the final time we're going to be talking about the fall sports here at UNCG. You know, Luke, I couldn't tell you where it went. I felt like we just started this show, and next week we're premiering the Wes Miller show and then the Wendy Palmer show. I can't believe it's basketball already. We had a couple good games to start, and hey, we're full rolling. <laughs> we are full rolling, and no doubt we're going to have plenty of time to talk about basketball in the coming weeks and in the coming months. But this is why it's called the Fall Sports Show Finale. We're going to go through our favorite moments of the fall sports season instead of our Spartan Athletic Update. We're just going to give you our three things that really stood out. And, Meg, let's start with you. You know, this is our first fall here. What were kind of your three highlights of the fall season? Well, I have to say it's hard to pick three. Luke, I'm glad that you have three and I have three and we have six highlights because it would be really hard to narrow it down. But I think I'll start with women's soccer. Women's soccer beating WCU 3-1 to in the quarterfinals finals was unreal. It was so fun being on the field and watching those girls, the celebration after, it was on Halloween and it meant a lot to them because they were they were picked to be fifth and they ended up being third and it was a huge accomplishment. I think my next one would have to be just the month of October was unreal. In October we were 21 and 4 overall. That is an absurdly good record and probably one of the best Octobers our school has had in its history. Finally, uh, how could I go through the fall without talking about Spartan Madness, which was such a cool event. We turned down thousands at the door because so many people wanted to do it. And the men's basketball team and the women's basketball team had such a good show. Everyone in the crowd was going crazy. The Spartan G's looked great. It was just an awesome event. Yeah, that was an event. It still gives me goosebumps thinking back to all of the students filing in into the gym and the ones that were turned away, which show up early so you can get in the Fleming Gymnasium. It's great to see the excitement for basketball season. I think, Meg, for me, there's no doubt. Number one is the men's soccer team clinching the SOCON regular season championship at ETSU. Just being there, that environment, the team, what it means to the program to be able to get back to be the number one team in the SOCON, understandably, the season definitely didn't end the way they deserved and penalty kicks against the Buccaneers. But what that team accomplished, but just for me, just to be there, to see all the pandemonium on the field afterwards as they were waiting, watching watching the Furman-Mercer game on all their phones. And I know, Meg, you agree with me. It couldn't happen to a better group to win the SOCON regular season championship. No doubt we wish the tournament crown came their way as well, but what a season for Coach Justin Mullen and his crew. Number two for me has got to be volleyball winning 10 straight matches. It was the first time in over 20 years that the program had won 10 or more games dating back all the way to 1995. And Meg, that doesn't even bring up, this is the first time that they've won 20 or more games in a single season in back-to-back -back years in nearly a decade. What a job that Coach Carlin has done in only year two. And for me, I announced most of those games here on the SoCon Digital Network, but it was the effort, the pride that these ladies showed representing UNCG, beating Chattanooga in thrilling fashion, sweeping Furman at home. It was an unbelievable ride, and luckily that ride has not ended yet. They'll be in the SOCON tournament this weekend. We definitely wish Coach Carlin and the ladies good luck. And then the third and final thing for me, Meg, was men's golf, closing out the fall season strong and really just going back to the Bridgestone Golf Collegiate. You look at Taylor Colson, the senior, his last go around here at UNCG, a career best at the Bridgestone. And really, it's not just the Bridgestone tournament that was great for Taylor. Finishing last three tournaments in the top ten, including the last two, in the top five, but don't forget about Jake McGlone either. My goodness, top tens in three of the five tournaments in the fall. Both of those guys coming back, they are eyeing a huge spring. There's no doubt that Coach Terrence Stewart is grinning from ear to ear knowing that Jake McGlone and Taylor Colson will be back to close out the spring season, starting off in Puerto Rico, which right now I'm sure everybody wishes they could be in Puerto Rico with the weather. It's starting to get a little bit chilly here as we get closer to the winter season here in Greensboro. Well, Meg, there are so many great things happening in Spartan Athletics. It's really hard just to pick three things because so many great things are happening in Spartan Athletics right now. 
It is hard, but we don't really have a choice as we have a cutoff for this show. We wish we didn't because we could just go on and on and on with all the fantastic student athletes we have. We don't really have that luxury, but we, we try to get you the best that we can. Well, we also want to save everybody at home that you have to listen to us even more. So we know you want to hear, you know, you want to hear all the interviews, especially the one we have coming up with Director of Intercollegiate Athletics, Kim Record. Kim joins the show right after the short break. The one who signs the paychecks around here. We'll talk to Kim about her highlights of the fall season right after this short break. So don't go away. What makes a Subway footlong the biggest, bestest sandwich on earth? You do. Because it's all about choice. Your choice. A freshly baked bread. Tender meats. Melty cheeses. Savory sauces. And your favorite vibrant, colorful veggies. The handcrafted Subway footlong. Nothing bigger, nothing better. In the end, the rapper may say Subway, but it's got your name all over it. Subway. Eat fresh. I'm Barbara Corcoran. To sell your home on time for the most money, you need a sharp agent with a marketing strategy that creates the most demand. Bottom line, you need a partner willing to put their own money on the line for you. In Greensboro and Winston-Salem, it would be Jason Bramblett. He attracts hundreds of buyers and creates so much demand that Jason can guarantee if your home doesn't sell at a price and deadline you agree to, he will buy it. Partner with the agent I trust. Go online or call and get your home sold. Welcome back to the Let's Go G Sports Show presented by the UNCG Alumni Association. And now it's time to welcome in the person that makes everything happen around here in UNCG Athletics as the Director of Intercollegiate Athletics, Kim Record. Kim, thank you so much for joining us here on the final fall sports show. It's hard to believe that the fall season is pretty much already over and it's time for basketball. It, it really is, and it's been a great fall already. For you, you talked about the fall. I know it's coming to an end, and, and we'll talk about the specific teams in just a moment. But where does this fall kind of rack up? You know, you've been here now for multiple years, and, and you mentioned it. It's been a really successful fall for all of the teams across the board. I think it's been uh, one of our most successful falls since I've been here. And um, as you said, each of our sports has uh, thrived and had a lot of success both at home and on the road. Well, let's start with women's soccer. And what a year Michael Cole and his bunch had. And I know it was a tough ending in the SOCOM tournament against Furman. But they really seemed like they turned a corner when, when SOCOM play began. You saw them play multiple times. What impressed you most about Michael Cole and his bunch this year and really the resilient effort they showed all year long? Well, I think the word resilient is a great word to talk about Michael's team. And this is his second year, and I think the women on his team never gave up. Uh, they really did. They fought through adversity. Um, if you saw them play, they were committed. Um, and they were always uh, working hard um, every minute of every game. And certainly uh, wasn't the way you'd like to see it end. But I uh, know that they'll take a couple of weeks off and they'll be back at it for next year. <laughs> That's the way it goes in athletics. You're always looking at next year. And speaking of the men's soccer team, they as well just a couple weeks ago at ETSU celebrated what was a very memorable night, the SOCON regular season championship, and then just a tough way to go for them as well. And penalty kicks at the same spot. They clinched the regular season title. But again, uh, their team motto was embrace the grind. And my goodness, they grinded out all year long. How does Justin Mullen and his crew continue to do it, it seems, year after year? Well, I think our history at UNCG has been built on the foundation of soccer. And certainly uh, Coach Mullen's team this year uh, succeeded in many ways and I think in, in a lot of ways we were rewarded with that uh, by having the player of the year, freshman of the year. I know that uh, they worked hard and while it was certainly disappointing it's always hard in the sport of soccer to end it on penalty kicks. They had a great great season and I know we have a lot to look forward to with such a young group coming back. You mentioned Freshman Player of the Year, Leroy Magarache, and plenty others are coming back. So no doubt the future is bright. And speaking of a future that is bright, the season's still going on for volleyball right now. They begin the SOCON tournament this weekend. They won 10 games or more for the first time, 10 games in a row for the first time in over 20 years, back-to-back -back 21 seasons for the first time in nearly a decade. When you hired Corey Carlin a couple of years ago, did you know he'd have this much success right away? 
Well, it's easy to say that when you've got those <laughs> wins under your belt, but uh, uh, Corey's in his second year as well. Actually, I'll give a lot of credit to uh, Stacy Koziak, who was a former student athlete of ours and is in, in our leadership team now, who actually did a lot of the hiring as it related to Corey. But it's been fun to watch. Volleyball is such an exciting game. We've had great attendance as well. And I think the young women who are playing, uh, they play uh, inspired. And that's what makes it fun to watch them play. So we're hoping that they're going to come out and do well in the tournament. And now we're going to find out what happens here as we move forward with basketball. But what does a successful start to the year do and building that momentum? And hopefully basketball can carry, both men's and women's can carry this positive momentum into the winter. Uh, we hope so. We call this the tweener season. So as you know, all the staff are all hands on deck and we're uh, finishing up the fall going into the winter. But uh, what we talk about is what our purpose is and that's developing uh, champions and our student athletes are working hard in the classroom. They're working hard on their sport. And so we just hope to see what the future will bring. And I think that we'll see a lot of uh, good results in the next few weeks. No doubt it's going to be a lot of fun with basketball season. Basketball season is here, Kim. I know it's going to be an exciting time. We appreciate you coming on the show and not just coming on the show, but making this show possible for us and having an outstanding fall year. Well, thanks for what you're doing. We look forward to seeing more of it. I <laughs> appreciate it, Kim. Once again, as the director of intercollegiate athletics here at UNCG, Kim Record, no better way to close out the fall season of the Let's Go G Sports Show for the boss in charge, Kim Record, and everybody in Spartan Athletics. I am Luke Martin saying so long from the the Coleman Building, and as always, let's go G. Let's go G.